and that actually means an awful lot to me uh, because if it hit home uh, with even one person, I, I would have been happy. The fact that so many people could relate to it and maybe felt I was talking to them, you know. So that's that's very that's a very nice feeling for me to have. We we know relatively little uh, uh, about adult life, uh, and and we know virtually nothing about the nature of. Um, of, the, of the later part of life. And, and that's not a depressing thought. You suddenly think, this is the time I have left in life. You know, uh, I, if I'm lucky, I have another, you know, good few decades ahead of me. Uh, and I want to make the very best of it. Uh, so it kind of motivates people to think like, well, what do I want to do uh, now? Well, what's my agenda? Because the, the first agenda of life is something that you took from your family uh, and that you, you maybe thought about when you were an adolescent. And, and that's what you, you kind of work through uh, until you're well into your middle age. Um, and by 50, you know, you're, you're pretty much not finished with it, but you're well on the way to finishing that agenda. And, and this is your chance. You know, what's, what's, this, what's the next agenda for the next half of your life? That will require some thought now. Uh, uh, um, I'll, I'll probably put it in the hall, <laughs> just in case anyone misses it. <laughs> and then, when everyone has, then I, I'll move it somewhere. Um, I'll maybe move it into my study, you know, uh, so I can, when I'm having a bad day and I think I'll never write again, I'll, I'll have a look at it and it'll inspire me on.